With a million, million, million watts capacity, the electricity grid is the largest construct in human history. While it will evolve, it will remain the centerpiece of modern economies for the lifetime of everyone in this room, and it's in a great deal of trouble. The reasons are on this next slide. The utilisation of the grid is such that something like a trillion dollars worldwide, 20 to 45 per cent of the grid, depending on where you are in the world, is utilised less than 1 per cent of the time. On this log graph, the commodity value of electricity in the wholesale market from an average of $35 reaches per megawatt hour reaches 13,500 on a log scale and can drop to minus 1,000 where they pay you to take extra electricity from the grid. The variations in the grid in blue in voltage that are normal since Edison's time now have superimposed in red here the generation noise of the intermittency of wind and solar. And all of this is adding up to an unreliable grid. You can solve these problems in many ways, mostly expensively by energy storage, more grid infrastructure, more generation, or if you had a controllable load, a discretionary load, you could solve that in, for a tiny fraction of the cost. And if you did that, what you could do is you could take off the peaks here. You could surf it here. You could ride the surf here virtuously. You could take off the peak of the cost. You could use this energy usefully. And you could match in green the excursions in red to cancel them out and stabilise the grid. So there is one such discretionary load in the grid and it's huge and it's swimming pools. Mm -hmm. Of the 10 million global in-ground pools, they use 80 million megawatt hours per annum just for cleaning and sanitising. In Australia, 1.3 million pools, 13% of houses have them and those houses use 25% of residential electricity. The pools alone are 10% of the grid and 5% of the peak and you can use them as a discretionary load if you could do it safely, and that's very important. So pools are dumb and complex to manage. It's old technology, dumb control systems, <laughs> poor chemistry that changes in 30 minutes in strong sunlight, very energy inefficient, poor hydraulics, a high hassle factor, and of course when they go green, the cost of remediating them is very high. So what's pooled energy? We're both a pool pool company and an authorised electricity retailer. We've been operational since July 2014. We've got globally unique technology, architecture and a business model. So what we do is we sell you bundled electricity and pool services and what we do is optimise the water quality and energy consumption of your pool but we group pools together and use them to do discretionary load management for the grid. So what have we got in terms of our systems? We have currently operating after six years and 10 million of R&D. We have high tech, oh, sorry. We have high tech uh, remotely managed automation at each pool. We have custom sensors, chemistry and components. We manufacture chlorine in water like many people, but we also manufacture acid and alkali in the water using a new process. We have a cloud-based SCADA system for a million pools with an integrated relational database. We have a widespread internet of things using cellular data. We have mill grade crypto security. We do big data analysis. We integrate it with the electricity market, the grid and the weather bureau. We have patents. We manufacture, we install, we support. We have integrated IT management. And we're working up to high power grid integration as we get to critical mass and sufficient load. By 2020, we expect to reduce the consumption in the grid by 300 gigawatt hours per annum or 300,000 tonnes of carbon. That'll be a power station, a small one perhaps, but still a power station. <laughs> Distributed energy storage of three gigawatt hours, demand management of up to 400 megawatts, stabilise the grid voltage, lead the technology, export and have major reductions in grid infrastructure. For the customer, there's no cash out front. We do a major equipment upgrade at each pool. We provide new equipment for a new pool. We have a contract for electricity and pool services. We automate your pool, we optimise your pool. We supply all the chemicals, we maintain the equipment, save you a thousand bucks a year in typical expenses and 20 tonnes of carbon, and we dramatically improve water quality and we integrate with PV and batteries. And if you go to the website and use this tech, uh, promo code of TECH23, we'd be happy to help you, your friends, your relatives, and all those with pools <laughs> have a better pool, save a thousand bucks and help save the planet. Thank you very much. <laughs>